ओके फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू थ्रू विथ द ब्लूमबर्ग असेसमेंट टेस्ट एंड प्रिपेरेशन स्ट्रेटजी एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो इज कंपेयर बैट विद अदर एग्जाम्स लाइक सी एफ एफ आर एम जी मैट और सी एम टी बिफोर आई मूव अड लेट मी जस्ट ब्रीफ यू अबाउट दीज फोर शॉर्ट फॉर्म्स दैट आई हैव बीन यूजिंग The CFA is the Chartered Financial Analyst exam. FRM is the Financial Risk Manager exam. GMAT is uh, the exam used as as an entrance for the MBA program, and CMT is the Market Technician exam, which is uh, about technical analysis. Now, when we look at the BAT exam, there have been no books, uh, no prep guides. So, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about a strategy that you can take to improve your score in the exam for more details you can check out my blog which is stockcreditfinancecfa.blogspot.com so the content of this presentation and are based on three files that are freely available on the bat website and these are the three files you can go there and you can download these files uh I'll not be talking about any questions of the exam but I'll be talking about general topics that you are going to see in the exam. The copyright of these three files belongs to the Bloomberg so I'll be citing them and I'll be talking about some of the tough areas in these subjects. So what you can do for this exam is make a 20 hour plan and uh, depending on your background you can distribute uh, those hours to various subjects. Now this plan is for someone who is uh, not knowing much about accounting and finance or so someone who is new to this subject. So to start with you should focus most on the reporting analysis or account subject because the implied application of account goes in corporate finance and equity valuation and ratios which is uh, uh, the heart of this exam. The second is investment banking which talks about merger acquisition. Uh, calculation of synergies etc then we have questions to uh, interpret and understand Bloomberg terminal then we have questions on fixed income market economics and interpreting market news and taking decisions on market news in an instant of time so this exam is very relevant to uh, those people who are looking to go into the financial analyst domain and uh, I believe that this exam is very close to the CFA exam that we have. So this exam has 150 question in 3 hours and 12 sections to cover. And uh, what I have done is that uh, I have picked some of the parts from various other exams which are similar to this exam. So this would be a comparison and uh, you can use this comparison to look at uh, how the other exam are structured and you can look at the materials and uh, you can get an idea about how those questions would be built up. So the exam is uh, kind of an hybrid of all these exams and uh, if you know a little bit about all these exams or you if you have ever thought about studying for these exams then this uh, bad exam becomes very easy for you. Some things which are exclusive to this exam is the Bloomberg terminal and the news items uh, which are available uh, from which are actually directly taken from the news items that appear as it is from the news. The three files that can help you to start your preparation is available at the Bloomberg uh, website so you can download these three tutorials and what I'll be doing is that I'll be talking about what we have in these three tutorials and how to work on this part. The first part is corporate valuation or equity valuation which stands as the heart of this exam or the heart of any other exam in financial analysis. So it starts with equity valuation. The equity valuation here in BAT uh, is uh, of good levels as we can see from the three files disclosed by BAT and uh, you should you can refer actually the CFA level 2 curriculum where you have multiple based valuation, discounted cash flow which we have free cash flow to firm, free cash flow to equity and things like that. Then we have the investment banking question again a little bit of this is given in CFA level 2 corporate finance where we talk about merger acquisition, IPOs,
stock exchange and things like that. There's another book of investment banking by J. Rosenbaum, published by John Willey. You can check that out. The bond market or the fixed uh, income questions are really interesting. Uh, and what is fun in this exam is that they are based on real news. So no fictitious data, it's all real data. So if you have been observing the news and, under, and if you understand what is going on uh, from the recession of 2008 to till this date, things become very easy for you. This is a little bit tricky, so it's not covered so much in the uh, CFA. A little bit of uh, financial risk manage, uh, manager exam uh, takes this into more deep. Most important in this subject is to understand and interpret the news. Then we have global markets, global economy. You should know a little bit of what's going on between US, UK, Japan, EU and Latin America. How trade is going on about the currencies and uh, about the GDP of all these countries. So a little bit of economics is involved to understand the global scenario which uh, in which we need to understand the interest rate of all the countries uh, that are often seen like Eurozone and the currencies and how the currency has moved uh, from the uh, recession period to the current period and uh, how Federal Reserve is working and how Federal Reserve is taking things. So these uh, are covered a little bit into uh, the CFA exam so you can use that. So capital markets is uh, it's more about uh, the call option and the derivative part. But coming to the most important and exclusive part of this exam is uh, the kind of uh, news which it u which it uses. So you need to understand and read a little bit of news. If you read newspapers and financial news, things become very easy for you. The bond market uh, uh, of EU and uh, Japan and uh, other countries and how uh, uh, the central banks uh, manage all those things and the impact of uh, uh, the interest rate change in uh, the bond market. So all those things uh, are really very interesting which you can look at. Then you can look at the upcoming news like uh, UK might go into recession which is uh, uh, a news which is being shown in the last one month. So a little bit of that would be helpful and uh, how to understand and interpret the past data of the uh, recession period. So things like that. Correlation between uh, bonds, gold, S&P, uh, again a very interesting part so you should uh, know a little bit about that as well. So in all CFA level 2 gives you uh, some good idea about what's being asked in this exam. When it comes to equity, reporting analysis, international economics, cash flow questions. CFA level 1 gives you some idea about economics and reporting that's uh, used in this exam. Uh, something about the rating agencies and price volatilities or uh, value at risk. Uh, these are some things which uh, are there in the financial risk management exam which you can have a look at. Now one part of this exam is exclusively de dedicated to uh, the analytical, logical reasoning and quant part which is quite similar to the GMAT exam. So if you have a look at the GMAT exam and you look at the uh, critical reasoning, the reading comprehension, you will find uh, it helpful like the concepts of reading comprehension, how the RCs are structured. Uh, a little bit idea about CMT helps you to read the charts and the Bloomberg terminal. So that gives you a little idea about how to interpret price volumes and other parameters on Bloomberg Terminal. So I plan to launch around 8 videos on uh, this series of bats starting with economics, then accounting, then equity, ratio, Bloomberg Terminal, and news of bonds and real market, analytical skill, and little bit about ethics. Uh, something which I have feel is very important is the logical reasoning type of questions where you have to arrange uh, uh, the data. Uh, it's quite interesting to make the table and find out like who is sitting close to whom and uh, they give three sets like uh, this person is wearing blue shirt, the person who is wearing blue shirt works in company A and uh, he is male and the person who is uh, wearing uh, red shirt also works in company A and these kind of questions where you have to arrange the data. 
so that also becomes quite interesting so the longest part here is the financial market part so do that with more care okay so in this video i tried to link the pet exam with other exam and pointed out some of the differences and similarities i'll try to post more just give me your feedback uh